Greg Newsom talked uh, yesterday, met with me, he talked about playing in a much simpler defense under Jim Schwartz. Oh, for sure. Um, it's definitely some stuff, though, that we kind of mix up. But I think it's just, you know, the sense of urgency that Coach Schwartz, you know, coaches us with. Like, he doesn't accept, you know, mediocre. So, you know, when we, when we get out there, we get new coverages and things like that. Guys aren't making the same mistake twice, um, which is a good thing. Like, it's definitely some mistakes being made still, but I think the sense of urgency that we're playing with and, you know, learning with and our teachers are teaching with is just, you know, at an all-time high. When you look at that defensive line now, it's been rebuilt with Miles there. Um, and now that you've gotten to actually see it in motion, just what does that do for you as someone in the secondary knowing that you have – that type of pressure ready to go up front versus maybe years past. Yeah, I mean, just thank you, Lord. I mean, <laughs> that ball got to come out <laughs> super fast. Like, I mean, just even sitting there um, the game before against the commanders and just saying, you know, the ability to get safeties from a holding penalty and things like that, like, that's amazing. So you know, I'm, I'm glad we got those guys on my team. It makes my job a lot easier. It makes us a lot, you know, more confident on the back end knowing you know, we could be real sticky in coverage because those guys will get there. Mary Kay, what, um, how impressed have you been with Jim Schwartz's defense? What do you think the biggest difference will be um, with the Browns' defense this year? Well, there will be plenty of differences, but I think the number one thing that we will see is a much, much better defensive line uh, getting those sacks and getting those guys moving forward and being very disruptive. That's that's the absolute number one thing that you're going to see. And then, of course, that's going to really help the guys on the back end. So I think you're going to see more takeaways. I really do. I think you're going to see uh, those guys in the back end and even the linebackers. I think you're going to see more forced fumbles. I think you're going to see more interceptions. And they need to do that because uh, they were way near the bottom of the list uh, in takeaways last year. And that's the name of the game. If you can win the takeaway battle each week, you're going to win a lot of football games. And I think they'll be much better in that regard. There's a a lot more uh, it's enthusiasm there's there's a little bit of swagger do you think that continues is that by design everybody is celebrating um, when a guy on their unit makes a play yeah it's starting to be a real close unit Greg was talking yesterday about um, how the defensive backs are always together always hanging out and um, and I think that's important I think these guys I remember back uh, you know back many years ago when you know, Hanford Dixon and Frank Minifield and those guys were all together. They were such good friends. They were very, very close. And you're starting to see that on this uh, in this secondary now. And, you know, when you have that kind of friendship off the field, you know, you really want to go to war with each other and you have your uh, best friends back on the field. And I think that that's the kind of thing uh, that you will see more so this year.